Hey, check it out, check it out. Finally got the sink done. So I wanted a sink with a pull down. So I'm Italian, I'm a pasta guy. My wife is a rice lady because she's an island girl. And, uh, you know, you can just go right there. If you want. Anyway, so the big thing was getting the switch on. Wasn't really happy with uh, how loud the pump is, but checking around, most pumps are uh, pretty noisy. And if I were to do it all over again, I think I would uh, look for the quietest pump, but it's no big deal. But uh, anyway, that's how loud it is. And there you have it. Put it on a switch. You can just even leave it on because the pump is uh, turns itself off and then you can just have water when you want it or you can just use it by the switch and uh you know kind of saves on the uh dc power anyway i'd rather have it shut off but it's kind of cool because you can just turn it on by the switch too so and uh what i did was i put this pull out i'm thinking about putting a handle on this and then uh, maybe putting this behind it. I don't know though, the wear and tear, we'll see how that works out one step at a time, but uh, I'm gonna show you down below. This is a really easy water system using these uh, water jugs because you can take them into the grocery store and you can fill them up and get fresh water. So you have good drinking water and uh, when we had the pop-up, we used to have to hook a hose up and then drain the hose somewhere. This, you got a holding tank, as long as you just match them. And every time you replace one, you dump one out. And uh, you can just find a spot to do that pretty easy. They're easy to carry. They have lids on them. So that's nice, too. You fill them up and you got a handle. So I really like it. So I'm going to take you down below and show you that. Okay, so here's the inner workings of the uh, sink. This is such an easy setup. Anybody could do this. And what's really cool about this setup is you could actually put a portable sink anywhere you want. All you need is just a little battery, 12 volt battery to uh, power it off of. And uh, I mean, these pumps don't use that much juice. And you could recharge it when you want. And anyway, but uh, for an RV or camper and stuff, these jugs are easy to carry they have handles on them uh, the PVC fits perfect into them this baffle you can pick that up at Lowe's I did not see these at Depot but Lowe's did have it and these work out perfect because you can pull them down and pull them up to get the uh, tank out to dump it this is the gray water right here of course because it's coming right out of the drain mounted the pump right there the pump uh, it's mounted to the sidewall, like I said, wish it were a little bit quieter, but, uh, and then the switch is, is over in here, which comes on top. So when you turn it on, it just keeps the pressure up, and then when you uh, turn on the faucet, then the faucet will work whenever you want it to. But if you want to save on uh, juice, you just turn it off, and uh, there you go. And so also, this is kind of a cool tip. I was having a problem with the uh, tube. Uh, when I would put it into the uh, water jug, it would curl up so it wouldn't stay at the bottom. So I got this PVC, a little one that's uh, probably three quarter. And uh, I drilled a bunch of holes at the bottom. So I just put it down all the way to the bottom and it fills up and it keeps the uh, hose straight and straight to the bottom and that's working out perfect so pretty easy setup anybody could do like i said these water jugs you can find them everywhere and uh you know the pi the pump you can pick those up ebay or uh, amazon i got mine off amazon and i did put some twist ties on it just because uh if I want to remove it, replace it, or whatever, it's easy to do. I've already taken it in and out like 10 times just working on this tubing. And your biggest challenge is, uh, make sure that wasn't leaking, is uh, getting the fittings to match up and the tubing and all that. Because when you go to some of these places, uh, they don't always uh, get their threads right. 
So I, I, I had a mix of threads. But anyway, this is holding. This one I had to saw off, and I just went straight to the hose. It was leaking at first, but now i got to clamp down to where it's not leaking at all. My big challenge is when uh, we get up into the high country, because when you get up in the high country, the pressure changes. Everything seems to change a little bit. So hopefully uh, there won't be any problems. But you always got to have a backup, so you can just use a gravity jug. I'm going to have one of those in the back, and of course a backup of water. So there's the uh, sink setup, pretty easy. And digging this uh, pull down, and this is a soap dispenser, which we always had to use in our pop-up, you know. So it'll be nice having it built in. You just uh, fill it up from the top, which is pretty easy. And there you go. So... Still deciding on putting a microwave right in here, but uh, I don't know. Everything says don't do it because of the uh, extra weight and just keep it as light as possible for now. I can't add it uh, later when I want. So thinking about maybe mounting a heater buddy there. I wanted to make a portable with a disconnect, but uh, I haven't gotten that far. But all eyes are to hooking up. The front here to the propane that's next figuring out a split splitter regulators length of tubes and uh, i mean it shouldn't be that hard it's just finding everything that fits together that's always the biggest challenge you know that's my biggest challenge is is making sure the fittings are the right fittings that fit together so there it is